Welcome back everyone, this is Into the Breach Part 2 of Middle of the Frontline. My sort of memorial to D-Day. We've made it into the bunker and now we're continuing on foot alone. Okay, so now the level gets much more very in a sense of like the much more like the um, normal Medal of Honor levels, I, I should say, because you're actually going on and into an area by yourself and taking each enemy on in sort of hand to hand, not ha not, not hand to hand, but fighting each enemy and just trying to survive by yourself. Because you no, know, in the last level, in, in, in that first level, there's very little, um, there's very little actual, you know, combat with soldiers. It's mostly, um, it's mostly just getting across the map and not getting killed by the bunkers in a way. Here we go, so I'm trying to come in. Unfortunately, they get killed by the um, German soldiers. Just spray them with machine guns, but unlimited afterwards, just keep going. It won't overheat or anything like that. And that's all. Right. Okay. Coming down here. Oh. That's how you do it. Massive explosive barrel to the face, that's got to hurt. So yeah, pretty much all the other soldiers go with the captain. He trusts you to do this by yourself. It's pick a lot of trust in you. So shoot the red and green light on the radar to destroy it. Upstairs to the right. Basically HQ gives you all the hints you'll ever need. There we go. I see that nice and easy does it. Now you think this guy here who's there would come running to the source of the noise, but no, just a bit of a hit there and down he goes. Sort of comic, as comic as World War II can be. Oh. He's still going, he's still going. Let's destroy that from a safe distance. Good reliable, good reliable weapon, the um, M1 Garand. And of course we are... Oh, by the way, when you go up this um, ladder here, it will not then... It will then close, basically, so you can't get back down. So you might as well grab this Field Surgeon pack, even though it gives you half your health back, which is a godsend in some levels, when it gets really tricky. <coughs> Thinking notes be coming up, but no. Just like, oh, good lord. It goes into the wall. There are some glitches, and the AI characters are quite silly sometimes as well. Yeah, be careful there, because he will throw a grenade at you, which he had in his hand ready. It's a weird one as well, because usually he will then he will close the hatch and go off, but they, he doesn't seem to tell anyone else about what's going on. You think he would let people know that someone's managed to breach the defences? No. This is a bit dark here on my screen, so be careful here. Camouflage as well. Oop. Okay. But yeah, in easy mode, all they're all classified as new recruits, which means they're very incompetent in terms of you know taking you on. I swear there's like one of these ones where you can shoot through and hit a guy. Oh, someone's just texted me. <laughs> it's like, sorry mate, I can't really talk right now in the middle of a allied invasion. That sort of music there reminds me of um, Star Wars Episode 1. They go down to the, um, the Gungan world in the boom. I don't know why, it's a weird connotation. <laughs> just a quiet sort of sound. Oh, that's good. Here we go. Nice and easy, does it? Let's take them both out. Easy peasy. Oh. So next task is to find smoke grenades. Grenades are located in the storage room behind some of the boxes. That's the only hint we get from HQ. <laughs> Usually it's one or two. It's always either one or two hints. Let's 
go up and hit them. They die in one in one stroke. Not the best of uh, soldiers, you've got to admit. We've got everyone here. The next one. That'll be upstairs. That's a fan of grenades, brilliant. Fan ladder to reach first gun deck. Okay. This is um this is a weird one here. We'll see why in a minute. Oh no! Falling down. Is there a health bit here? Oh, that's good, I'm doing quite well for health anyway. As long as I keep... As long as you don't lose a quarter of your health, you'll be fine for getting a gold medal. Easy. Head outside. And no one stops you here. Everyone's just like, n no one knows any idea of what's going on at all. I, I just killed five people, one of them almost tried to shoot me, but nowhere near really. You can't use the machine guns unfortunately, it's a shame. But, thankfully a plane will then clear the other deck, which is good. It's like, shoot your one and you'll, uh, yeah. Now he'll come on. Hey, Pedro Captain. But hey, hey, over here. He'll show you what happens. He marks his one with the smoke. The red smoke, and then shh, like that. So you gotta do this right. Okay, it's, it's there. And you've got to run as fast as you can through this door which is now open. Oh, and thankfully the captain will kill the guy for you. And then suddenly. Oh, you charmer. So there we go. Me and him, by looks of it, the only guys made, made out alive. June 6th, 1944. 175,000 Allied soldiers breached the walls of Fortress Europe through intense German resistance. By late June, Sherbrooke had fallen, giving the Allies the port they so desperately needed. By early August, Eisenhower had amassed an Allied army of over one million strong. Treacherous field-to-field -field hedgerow fighting unleashed a breakout across France. With the Germans in full retreat, the Allies marched into Paris. Field Marshal Montgomery moved north into Belgium, while General Patton and the Third Army pushed to the Siegfried Line. It was here that the Allies encountered their newest enemy, the lack of sufficient supplies. Patton's plan was to run straight through the teeth of the Siegfried Line directly to Berlin. Monty had devised a daring airborne operation that had the potential of ending the war by Christmas. Having only enough supplies to support one advance, the fate of thousands rested in the hands of the few. With Allied superiority on land, sea and air, what could go wrong? two months to the beginning of middle of honor proper so there we go that was that was d-day as portrayed by medal of honor uh front line you know obviously they don't, you don't get the full horror of oh, middle as well fantastic yeah you, you don't get the full horror of um the, the experience i mean nothing can really in that sense um terrible accuracy as well 27 percent but, you know, that's one of my first person shooters. Um, but as such, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was nice. I, I, I enjoyed doing it as well. I really mean... I, I'm terrible at first person shooters, but I loved them at the same time. Um, massive fan of Middle of the Frontline. Um, so if that's something that you guys would like to see me do as a full walkthrough... Not getting, I can't guarantee I got the medals because I never have done. The medals I've never managed to get are this one and the one after. But just playing through and enjoying it, and maybe as well, if, if you want to see how it looks in HD, because it is glorious, um, then yeah, put that in the comments below, and maybe I'll do the um, next mission, which is uh, Storm in the Port. If not, this has been a nice change. See you guys soon. Exams, essays, deadlines, it's officially the worst time of year. I don't even worse. It's twice a year.